Hello, it's Jason with Think Converged. Today I'm going to show you how to move extensions. Uh, this would be people moving desks from one, one office to another, uh, wanting to keep their extension number. I'm going to go ahead and open Manager, and I'm going to log into my configuration. And on the left hand tree, just so you kind of see what I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to show you the users here. Uh, in this case, Paul Wellington and Bob Smith are changing offices. Um, for whatever reason, they're, they are moving their desk, and moving their phone, and they want to keep their extension numbers, which makes sense. Um, so what we're going to do is, on the left hand side in the menu tree, we're going to select extensions. Now based on for what we saw in users, we know it's 8503 and 8504. So under extensions, I'm going to find those two extension numbers. So what I always recommend, always, always, always keep track of which ID goes with what extension originally, especially if you're doing more than two. With two, it's fairly easy. If you're moving more than one extension at a time, it could get confusing. So just keep a list of where it is right now. Uh, in this case, ID number 4 has 8503, and ID number 3 has 8504. If I want to flip-flop these two extensions or swap their desks or their position, I'm simply going to just backspace over where it says 8503 over here on the right-hand side and change it to 8504. Now when I do that, you notice I have two 8504s. This is where it's important to remember where the original was and the one that we're changing was. Um, it does give me a conflict with an extension ID over here. Um, so if I select the other one now and change it to 8503 and select OK, now I have flip-flopped the two. Uh, the system does not instantly clear up the error. Most of the time when you press save you're going to get an error. Uh, in this case I'm just going to go ahead and press save. And there is the error I was talking about. It's telling us that our IP office has errors and are we sure we want to send this configuration? Well, looking at this, we know we really don't have any errors. We've cleared them up. So we're just going to press yes. And it's going to bring up our reboot mode. From here, uh, what I recommend is if you can, either do this before or after hours. Uh, you know, it's usually the last thing of the day or, or before the day starts. You can just do an immediate reboot. The phones will come up in their proper location. Uh, even though this is a mergeable change, quote unquote, from 4.2 and up, uh, it really does not take place. There's other steps you have to make uh, that make it a little more complicated for that change to actually happen. So I recommend an immediate. Uh, you could also do a win free. Uh, probably the other preferred method would be timed, where you could just give it a time. If you have to do this during the day, you just tell them, hey, in the morning your, your phones will be swapped, and set this to a time in the middle of the night uh, using military time, and it'll reboot and apply the changes then. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and do an immediate, press OK. Once this bar goes through, my IP office is now rebooting. And once it comes up, the extensions will have moved their position.